A couple of days ago, the compact SMG was added into Fortnite, and man, ever since the first moment I touched it, I knew this thing was gonna be a problem. The rate of fire is absolutely ridiculous, the damage is solid, and it also has almost no bloom and no recoil. Like, you could literally outgun ARs at medium range with this thing, with a submachine gun. Like, that makes no sense. This thing was so incredibly unbalanced. It was fun to use, no doubt. Like, I'm sure a lot of you guys liked using it because it was that good, but it, it truly was unbalanced. Like, it, it was more unbalanced than the guided missile launcher ever was or the double pump ever was or anything like that. I mean, this thing is literally more powerful than Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet beam. Like, that is saying something there. And uh, check out this clip here from Nick at 30. It, like, it, without exaggerating and being too crazy, this just shows exactly how good this thing is. I mean, you guys could see, it's just like, the person in front of him literally, like, couldn't even build. The one thing that this game is based on and sets this game apart from everything else could not even build to save himself from this SMG. Nick just walked right through all of his builds, just spraying him down for the kill. That is ridiculous, and that, my friends, is why Epic has nerfed this thing already, just a couple of days later, and, you know, I mean, typically I like to kind of see how things play out and see, you know, if things calm down and, and not jump the gun too quickly, but this was absolutely needed, and bravo to Epic for this. Here's a Reddit post that details all the changes. They said, hey everyone, we've heard your feedback regarding SMGs, and they're stronger than we would like them to be at the moment. We agree, and we've just pushed a hotfix live, so... SMGs and compact SMGs accuracy bonus has been reduced. They're now going to be less accurate, especially at those medium ranges. SMG damage reduced from 19, 20, and 21 to 17, 18, and 19. Compact SMG damage reduced from 23, 24 to 21, 22. SMG fire rate reduced from 13 to 12. Compact from 11 to 10. The SMG compact SMG and silenced SMG have also all had their damage fall off nerfed. So both in terms of range and percentage, those have been reduced. So they're going to fall off damage more quickly again for those medium range fights and then finally the rare smg and the compact smg's drop rates have been slightly reduced so pretty much across the board you're talking damage you're talking range you're talking recoil you're talking drop rate pretty much everything has been reduced to, to an extent and uh, it's a little bit too early to tell how this lines up i mean it may not have been enough it may have been too much or we could be just right that's always hard to judge without a doubt this was absolutely needed like when you think about it again, like, it, it's honestly, the fact that the SMG was that good, like, just because it was good, that wasn't the real problem. It's because it made so many other weapons null and void. Like, there was no reason to use a pump shotgun now, because you literally, you could fire one shot, and then you're going to be dead before you even get the chance to get to a second shot because of what they've done with the, the shotgun switching and stuff like that. So, you know, whether it's a, a pump shotgun, attack shotgun, even a heavy shotgun, I mean, there was no way you were going to win that gunfight if the other person had the SMG, the compact SMG, and they knew how to aim just because it was, it was that good. And, and, like, really, shotguns should be the ultimate trump card when you're up close. Like, that should be pretty much a guarantee that if you come into a close-range battle point-blank range with a shotgun, you should be in the advantage there, and that was not the case. Or, if you're a good builder, which is what this game is based off of, you should be able to put up walls and be able to get away from it. Now, there is a balancing act there, because you don't want building to be, you know, completely overpowered and nobody can can take it down and like as long as you can build you can survive it shouldn't be like that but it shouldn't be like that clip that you guys saw where somebody if they have an smg can just hold down the trigger and walk forward and delete all your building like it just it was in a bad scenario i know a lot of you guys probably liked it but this is definitely a uh, a move in the right direction so i want to let you guys know about that let me know what you guys think down in the comments did you think it needed to be nerfed I got a feeling most of you guys are going to agree there, but uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.